Hi, Lioness here. Welcome back to the Let's Play. I don't know if I've necessarily emotionally recovered from how silly that last mission was, but I am ready to turn in these dead rooney doonies. Let's go, girl. So that's what I'm gonna do. Is turn in debt. A Rooney Doonies. Um, right. We gotta go this way. Hey, you're okay, girl. I suppose I shouldn't go back to camp. Oh my God! Look at them all. I did not expect there to be so many in one place. And I gotta go get my mail. It's me, dumbass. Dumbass. Don't fight other man's battles, boy. Boy. Give all the debts. <sighs> so, Dutch must give uh, Strauss, like, lending money, and that's where they... get that stuff or um Strauss uses his own money and he contributes to the camp that way that's how he earns his keep I'm guessing it's probably the latter how did you get on Herr Morgan fine our accounts are up to date side sacks a lot of them good very good my pleasure uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, mm. Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Alright, I'm not done. I'm gonna look at the ledgers. Okay. I guess I'll contribute first. Can I only donate so much in one round, or...? I'd like to pimp some things out. Nope, that's the wrong button. Listen, Daddy's, Daddy's already given. And Daddy also really needs a bath.
that is the biggest load of bullshit. So, how are you, Mr. Smith? Fine. much have you Was trying to squeeze blood from a stone. Well, you fancy sharing it with me? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I won't want to be stuck in the wilderness with you, Charles. So if you do this, it helps level up your dead eye a little bit quicker. I think if I let Arthur get more disgusting enough, Mrs. Grimshaw will like drag him by the ear and make him take a bath. Good to see. How are you doing? Don't These things are sent to test us. Mr. Morgan. For me. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mm. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. I think that's what my letters the things for him. I can see why they think Bill's closeted. <laughs> Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and... Well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Oh, Mary. Okay. Or 
Bowser. No. He wants something. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Morgan. Hey, y'all. Okay. How are you? All well? Okay. Glad to hear it. Let's see what I can donate to the fat man. Donate all those. Okay, then. Donate all those. How are you holding up? Good job, Arthur. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. There's a little vent. What is this? I'm trying to get my bearings here. All right. Well, good interaction. Good interaction. What the fucky cheese what is this? Provisions. Oh, okay, so this is like canned shit I can take. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go see Hosea. Because that's gonna unlock the fence for me. And Daddy needs the fence. Quite sure how I replenish that, but whatever, it's mine now. Is this what's what you been up to, Arthur? Karen. You look odd. You want to talk? I don't know. I just don't feel myself. Been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Well, I've also killed a bunch of innocent folk. I don't know why. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is going to end. Well, It'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. <sighs> I know. Well, that kind of shows like how your your choices affect him, which I think is interesting. Just because most. Most characters don't really have repercussions. This is my all-time favorite horse. This is my blow pony right here, but their name is Ennis. Who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? Sean.
Yeah, I have that horse. Her name's Blow Pony. Let's go, girl. My all-time favorite. I'm gonna go see Hosea and Emerald Ranch and pick up my package. Yeah. Dude, I hate that it like switches my loadout on me. This is a Shire. No, it's built in draft. Mister? Save this, that's fine with me. Thanks. Seriously, horse? Been gone so long, I forget what this place looked like. Be careful out there. If it ain't the animals out for you, it's people. I figured they would have a conversation while I did this. Right up till now. Well, damn, Arthur, throw the man a bone. Weather, ain't it? <sighs> oh well, road's calling out to me. This will make my dead eye go up, so whatever. memory but I swear I've seen you before oh I my girl do that off camera oh wait, I should probably say thanks oh I reckon we're about done here friend Let's... I'm just leaving Go fucking on, get lost. what the fuck is his problem <laughs> whatever I guess he's salty that Arthur didn't talk back to him. I don't know. I can't control the weather. And PCs are weird. They go from zero to a hundred. Like, that. It's, it's just bizarre. Haynes of Emerald Ranch, too. Yep. There, girl. Alright, girl. <laughs> Let me go get my mail. Yeah, 
in my mail, sir. Guess that I can sell that to the okay, girl. James? Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look Hosea me, is Foxy Grandpa. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> By marriage. the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. feeling about things now what things Oop. this place the gang been here a few weeks now good i think better look out arthur i figured <laughs> more folks would have cut and run on us given everything that happened like dutch always says the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains he does like to trot that one out people see that especially when they get a few years on them even someone like micah there's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Easy.
That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. You see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. I wasn't being very conspicuous, was I? You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? I do like to see Hosea's little Let's speech, but it's easier than me. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Great, now I'm stuck like two dogs fucking. I never were okay. Well, that was easy. Get on, dear boy. Who leaves a bitch like that all ready to go? Oh my god, Hosea, don't yell at me. I was trying not to s fucking announce our departure. Everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. Yeah. You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. What are we doing off the road? Oh my god, Hosea, quit bitching. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. I'm gonna stop to listen to the dialogue. God damn it! <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. So here's something strange. Seamus was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and such like. Good luck charms. What? Like a ravage foot? I suppose, but he was claiming they really do work. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. I think the trinkets are gonna be my priority. Because the trinkets really help. Can we not do this at a fucking snail's place? Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, uh. 
last work, Hosea? It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? <sighs> no, I gotta look at the fence. I'm sorry. Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. <sighs> Stolen wagons. Let me take a look at these trinkets. Uh, New journal entry. This is Valentine. This is I love the little bunny. I think when I, if I do complete this, I'll do like, maybe like an ASMR reading of Arthur's journals. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, I gotta talk to this fence. Why is this locked for me? Seamus, it, it, bitch! I did wait till morning. Hello? Okay. Oh my god. Do I have to kill myself? Like, seriously? Uh, yeah, I might have to kill myself, maybe. That'll make it work better. You know what, I think it bugs out whenever you, uh, go back to camp with Hosea. Or don't go back to camp with Hosea, I guess I should say. I think I'm just gonna jump in front of this train, like, honestly.
Seriously? There. <laughs> he's like, he's like, damn, that hurt. Like, yeah, Arthur, you ran out in front of a train. I don't care as long as I get to use the fucking fence. Hello? Let's try this again. Pony? <gasps> okay, I can use it. Solved my issue. Go on. Try and right. take me out again. See where it gets you. Excuse me. What is this? So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Oof, okay. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna have to write all this stuff down and... I think the trinkets are going to be the first thing on my list. What? I don't cater to second thoughts. And I sell it to you? Oh, you got something for me? You got something for me? I do. I gotta decide what I want to sell. You want to know how to turn shit and stones to bread? Ask a country boy. I don't think I'm going to sell any of this. And I'm actually going to pause this here. So thank you for joining me. And we'll